Hey again, it's Christina from Sunshine and Flora. So I have two things that I want to update you guys on in this video. First are my Lysianthus seeds that I started exactly 10 days ago. And the second thing I want to update you on is the building renovation next door. But first, since we're in the studio, I want to update you on the Lysianthus. So I have three varieties of Lysianthus that I started, like I said, exactly 10 days ago. I have ABC White, ABC Deep Rose, and Arena Apricot. The ABC White and Deep Rose are a one. Uh, the Lysianthus go one to four. And so one being the earliest bloom time, four being the latest bloom time. So the two ABCs are one. The Arena Apricot is a three. So in theory, the Arena Apricot should bloom much later than the other two. Now these I started extra early this year because they're going in my hoop house, which I hope to be planting in at least a whole month before any of the other hardy annuals go into uh, the outdoor planting space. So I'm gonna set up a little table and we're gonna look at these close up because I think I have some green growth showing. All right, so we are in my windowsill and this first tray that I have is the deep rose. Let's take the saran wrap off. Now these Lysianthus I have started in these meat trays that I get from the grocery store. And these are started as soil blocks. And then my humidity dome that I'm using is saran wrap. And so I'm just gonna toss this to the side. And honestly, when I open this one, uh, you know what, let me grab a pointer cause I see some, but they're really tiny. Okay, so Lysianthus are notoriously tiny, but so far I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 19, 20. Well, anyway, most of the cells actually have the Lysianthus up. I'll put a close up on the screen, but I mean, I can definitely see the Lysianthus. They look great. There is a little bit of green algae growth starting in some places. And so I might go through here and add a little bit more of the vermiculite. But overall, this tray's looking good. Let me go grab the next one. Okay, so this is the ABC White. And this tray is shallower, and so I need to be careful when I take the saran wrap off to make sure I'm not pulling any plants up, but it looks like it's just vermiculite. Oh, my uh, stool was tipping, sorry. Hopefully that wasn't making you dizzy. Uh, these are even more visible than the others. And I am seeing seedlings up. Well, this one doesn't have one, but this one has two. There's not one here. There is not one in those two. Uh, here, 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 and here. Those are the ones that do not have seedlings. The rest of them all have little tiny seedlings. Wow, that is awesome. This tray's looking really good too. This is the Arena Apricot, which is a three. So later bloom time, I would still think that the germination time would be the same, but let's see how it compares. Okay, uh, no seedling in this one. Actually, these do look a little smaller than the other ones, but I can see plants. I mean, these are so tiny, but there are plants in at least half of the cells. Yep, plant there, there. I know you guys probably can't see these, but I would say three quarters of these cells do have the plants. So these are looking good too. So I have the Lysianthus placed back on my grow shelf. Right now the lights are not on just so that I can film this better for you guys. But I'm gonna go ahead when I'm done with this and turn the lights back on. The heat mat is still on. And because all of the cells aren't fully germinated left, I'm gonna give these about another four or five days on the heat mat just to see if I can get a little more germination. Lysianthus, sometimes it takes two weeks for you to see germination. So since it's only been 10 days, I'm gonna give them another four to five days and then I will probably go ahead, remove the heat mat, remove the saran wrap and let them grow on from there. Now, once I remove this saran wrap, I'm going to have to be watering the soil blocks or misting them regularly because I do not want them to dry out. Lysianthus sometimes do like to, um, 
they don't like to be as wet as some other plants. And so once, especially they get a little bigger, they like to dry before you water them. Um, they can take that if that makes sense. Uh, so I don't want to keep these soggy, but I definitely don't want them to fully dry out because I can lose those seedlings really quickly. So I am really excited these are going well. Again, these are for the hoop house. So I'm going to be starting another round of these same varieties of Lysianthus. Oh, probably in another couple weeks. And those will be the ones that I plant outside in my garden. So doing a little succession planting this year, Lysianthus. Uh, anyway, now that I've updated you guys on this, I wanna walk you next door and give you a building renovation update. Okay, we're outside of the studio. In my last video, you saw where we moved the greenhouse out here. And it is about mid 40s and raining today, which is super crazy for December. We don't even have any snow yet. And then walking across my parking lot here, we're heading to the building. Now here you can see my concrete blankets that I have placed. Um, if you didn't see my last video, I have put these here to try to keep the ground thawed. Uh, we're gonna be starting the building renovation hopefully after the first of the year, and we need to maintain a basement temperature of at least 40 degrees to be pouring concrete. And I'm hoping by using these concrete blankets, it's gonna keep the ground thawed and help insulate the basement. But that's not really what I wanna update you on. I wanna take you in here. And it looks a little bit of a disaster, but I can see how it's gonna be awesome. Let me turn my exposure up just a little bit. There you guys can see a little better. So my husband's been doing some demo. Oop, that might be a little bright actually. There we go, my husband's been doing some demo, which I've showed you how he exposed the windows and can't you just picture such a cute storefront? Um, but the most recent thing he did, if we look up, they demoed the ceiling out. So we had, and I'll throw a picture up on the screen, this had original white tin ceiling. Unfortunately, because there was a roof leak in it at one time, we were not able to save any of the ceiling tiles. The insulation was stuck to them and they were all rusted on the back side. So unfortunately, we couldn't save any of the tiles, um, but that's okay. That's just how it goes. Here's actually a couple pieces of the ceiling. Um, these actually don't look too bad. I don't know if he laid these here because he was gonna try and save these, but um, I mean, you can see on the edge, that's all rust and around the back, they're just completely rusted and they come off really bent. They're really flexible, um, so darn. So it was looking pretty good in here, but now with all of this exposed, it definitely looks a little rough. Um, now this wall, let me turn the exposure down again. There we go. So this wall was original and that is going to stay. However, you can see the plaster and lath. Um, we're gonna take the plaster off, keep the studs. We're gonna resheet rock. There's gonna be a bathroom over here. The storage closet will stay the same. And then, whoops, I just kicked something. This whole front area will be kind of open retail space. And then the back area, which he also has most of the ceiling down. Um, this will be the work area, but you can really see this wall now. I'm gonna have a long counter underneath these windows with a sink. That's where I can work with the flowers. Um, those windows will open up and look out into the garden. There's gonna be a stairway in this corner so we can actually get to the basement from the main floor. Uh, the creepy pink bathroom, which I know some of you commented on my last video about this building saying, don't move the bathroom. Well, this bathroom has a trap door in the floor. It actually uh, has stairway, has a stairway in it now. So it was not a full bathroom and it's really small and I just prefer not to use it as a bathroom. So we are making a new one, but this will be the flower cooler. Um, and actually, I gotta show you guys this. See that door up there? There is a secret compartment up there for storage. And we did find one box of treasures from when it was a liquor store. We found some liquor pamphlets. 
Um, I don't have them here, but we found some liquor pamphlets from when it was a liquor store back in the day. So those were kind of funny to look at, but that was the only treasure we found. So anyway, that's the update on this building. No more ceiling. They didn't find any treasures in the ceiling except one bat was the only thing they found. Um, so we're just gonna keep plugging away, cleaning this up, and hopefully after the first of the year, we're gonna have some work done in the basement to start rebuilding the foundation. Also, I should mention, because some of you might notice this, we took out the, this fence, all the boards on this fence we took out. This is where we walked the greenhouse through. Uh, we thought they may have to excavate over here on the side of the building during the renovation, but I don't think that they do. Um, but now that this whole entire area will, is mine and will be garden space, I might leave this open. I don't know, I'm thinking about it. Okay, you guys, so that's gonna do it for this video. I just wanted to hop on here, give you a Lysianthus update a little building renovation update, and I will be keeping you updated on both of these projects. Plus I have a lot of videos coming up as far as uh, flowers I'm planting for next year, my seed order, my whole garden plan. So stay tuned through the winter. I know that's when a lot of you do your planning. So I have a lot of content coming up. We'll see you soon. Okay, you guys, I was in the windowsill here taking pictures with my macro lens to show you the Lysianthus plants. And look at that. Those are my Lysianthus soil blocks. Super awesome. I'm gonna try and put those back in there. Okay, not bad. I lost a few, there were a few casualties. Um, that just goes to show I am not very, uh, I should say, I am a little clumsy. So I'm gonna mist this in, cover it, and to be determined whether these are okay. Oh, guys, thumbs down.